One of the things that I really don't like about Canvas is the way that it organizes all of the material working down the page. For this material, I've got a video that I want my students to watch, I've got an article, and then some questions at the end. Using tabs is a much easier way to display this data. Now we're gonna use a little bit of programming and I promise I've made it as easy as possible for you and for me. Stick around until the end and I'll also show you how to customize some colors. Okay, so instead of adding the tabs to this page, I find that it's a lot easier to use a brand new page add the tabs there and then copy and paste your material. So let's do that. I really want to have this material open and I want to have my new page open. So I'm going to go up here to my tab and I'm going to duplicate. Now on my computer, I can right click and I end up with duplicate. You can also, of course, open a brand new tab get back into your Canvas class and get to it that way. Now I have another page, so I wanna to go to view all pages. You can do this though, wherever you've got a rich content editor, mine happens to be on a page. I am looking for my week three content with tabs. There it is. Okay, let me go ahead and click on this. This is completely blank. I'm gonna copy my material over. Now to get the tabs into this blank page, we're gonna use the programming that I've already put together for you. So clicking over here to my programming, I'm gonna copy and paste this. On my computer, I can do a Control C to copy. If you're on a Mac, you might be Command C. So I'm gonna do a Control C and then back over to my week three content with tabs. I want to edit. And I don't want to put it here. This is the rich content editor. Instead, I want to go to the HTML code, which is this little symbol down here in the bottom right hand corner. Let's click on that. I really like this view where I've got this gray margin on the left hand side. You can also switch over. I like this view. Okay, I'm going to do a control V or command V if you're on a Mac. So control V. So what I have here for you is the programming necessary to create some tabs. I wanna take you through just a little bit of it so you understand how it's put together and more importantly, the things that you wanna change. We are building enhanceable content tabs. Now you just have to copy and paste this, but I wanna give you just a little bit of a background. This UL means an unordered list, and I've got my list items. And this first list item is going to be for the first tab. Notice that I've got a background color that you can change, and this is my font color, which is white. You can, of course, change that to black. So in this list, I've got a first tab, I've got a second tab, and I've got a third tab. These tabs are each linked to their content. So as you move down below, we've got tab one. You are going to be pasting your content here. We're gonna use the coding from our other page. And then down below that one, I've got the second tab. And then down below that one, I've got the content for the third tab. Okay, so what I really wanna do is to get content into these tabs. Let me show you what it looks like before we do any of that. Um, you can of course click this, but this doesn't show you much. We're still in edit. If I click save, it gives me three tabs. The first tab will be able to change the name, the second tab and the third tab, we're gonna be changing that content. Okay, so I wanna change the first tab. Let me click on the tab for my material. I wanna change that first tab to this material here, the material that has the video that I want my students to watch. Now it's so much easier to make your edits in this original page. So I'm gonna make as many edits as I need to, knowing that I can always make edits in that tab page if I have to. So let's click on edit. I am not gonna to go to the HTML editor yet. But what I want to do instead is to add a title to each of these so that we know which tab we're on. Now I could call this tab one, but really what I want to call this is my video. Um, I want this to be a heading, so I'm going to highlight this, change it from the paragraph in this drop down menu 
to a heading two. I also don't want that to be italicized. You can add more information here if you want. I'm gonna keep it simple. So there's my video. Um, and then step number two, I really want a horizontal line here and you're gonna see why it's gonna help me so much as I'm identifying the material that I wanna paste into each tab. So with my cursor right at the beginning of this step number two, I'm gonna do insert horizontal line. Okay, now you don't have to, it really helps me though stay organized. And I want a title for this too. Let me hit enter again. And I want this to again be a heading two. And this heading is going to be um, article or you can call that the reading or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to highlight this. I do not want it italicized. And I don't really need step number two now because that's going to be in tab two. Let's get rid of that. Um, continuing down, all of that looks good. And then I get to conclusion. So now I'm at the end of the reading. I'm going to put my cursor at the beginning of step three and let's insert another horizontal line, horizontal line. And I again, let's do enter. I want to put a heading here and these are going to be my discussion questions and I need to make that heading three. Let me highlight it down to this drop down menu and I want to choose, oh sorry, heading two. So I want to make that heading two and then click the italics. So now what I have, and I can move this, see this little array of dots over here? It will shrink and enlarge, which is amazing, your content editor um, viewing space. So I've got the material. This is gonna be for tab three right here. My horizontal line and above all of this article is gonna be in tab two and the video and these instructions let me get rid of step one the steps aren't bad but i'm going to get rid of it um, the video is going to be in tab one okay so i've got that if i go over here to my content with tabs let's hit edit i'm going to open up that html editor so that programming view I'm looking for that paste tab one content here. I'm gonna put a couple of extra spaces just to keep things simple. Before that div ID tab one, let's put an enter there. And then the slash div is the end of that section. I'm gonna put an enter there. So now what we've got is tab one. I'm gonna be pasting the HTML code for my tab one material here. Let's go grab the HTML code. I promise it's going to be so worth it. Here I'm in my rich content editor. I really want to be in the HTML code. Notice that I switched over to the page with all of my material on it. I'm going to click on the code. It is kind of a mess, but you're looking for that HR. Those are my horizontal lines. It really means horizontal rule. So I'm looking for those HRs. Okay, so that's my first horizontal line. So everything from there's H2, there's that heading down to that first horizontal line. This is the code for the video material. I'm going to copy this. So control C might be command C for you. Let's go over to the tab that has the tabs in it over to the tab with the tabs. Okay. Um, paste tab one content here. So I'm going to highlight that and then I'm going to do a control V, V as in Victor, or maybe it might be a command V. So control V. So I've got all of that information. If I highlight it, I've got all of that video information between that first P and the last slash P. Okay. So there's the first one. Let's see what it looks like. It's not really interesting going back to the um, editor screen. So instead I'm gonna scroll down and hit save and show you what it looks like on the student's end. So now I've got this first tab with the video. You can change anything you need to here. I need to do the same for the second tab and for the third tab. And don't worry, we're gonna change the names of the tabs as well, one thing at a time. Okay, let's do edit again. I'm still on my tabs page. I wanna to go to my HTML editor and I am looking for tab two. This is the end of the tab one section. So the tab one section starts with that div ID tab one. 
and goes down to end div, that slash div. So let's put an enter here. It just keeps my mind a little more organized. I'm gonna put an enter and an extra space after that slash div as well. I want my article content, that second group of content where it says paste tab to content here. Let's go to that original page and find that material. Now I'm gonna go back to the um, editor just so I can show you that rich content editor. I'm looking for this material starting with the article. Notice that it starts with that horizontal line. I'm gonna start after the horizontal line and then it goes down, 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 down and then it ends at the conclusion which then ends with a horizontal line. So we're gonna go between those two horizontal lines. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to my HTML editor. Here's my first horizontal line, HR for horizontal rule. And notice right after that, heading to article. Okay, so I know that I wanna start here and I wanna go down to the other horizontal line. Here's my end horizontal line. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna highlight all of this up, 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 up until I get to, there we go. So horizontal line to horizontal line. Perfect. Let's copy that. Control C or Command C. Back over to my page with the tabs. I'm going to highlight paste tab to content here. And I'm going to do a Control V as in Victor or Command V. It's a lot of information, but I've pasted that information between this paragraph symbol here and that paragraph symbol there. Okay, so let's click Save. See what this looks like. And then we'll do the last tab. Okay, first tab was good. Second tab. Woohoo, always makes me feel so much better when it works out. Okay, so second tab, there's my article. Now I want to do that third tab. Okay, back to the original content. I am actually going to go just so we can see it for reals, right? I'm going to go back to my rich content editor. And I want those discussion questions. They are also after a horizontal line. I want to start with this heading discussion questions and just go to the end of those questions. Okay. So our HTML editor, I am, let's just scroll to the bottom. That would be a little bit easier. Here is my horizontal line. That's above the discussion questions. I swear this helps me so much. Okay. So there's that horizontal line. I'm going to highlight this notice after the horizontal line heading to discussion questions. Perfect. This is an ordered list. That's what the OL means and the LI is list item, just in case you're curious. And that's it. So let's do a, a control C or command C. So here I am at the tabbed page. I'm going to go into edit. This is just my rich content editor though. I really want that HTML editor. And I am going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. I am looking at paste tab three content here. And I'm going to do a command V or control V. Mine's a control V. V is in Victor. And here it is. Okay, so tab three starts after that paragraph space. There's my discussion questions. And then it goes all the way down to, and that ends my ordered list and then ends that division for the tab three, ends the division for the tabs altogether. Okay, let's hit save and see what this looks like. Being organized here is the key. So I have it saved, let's click through our tabs. So I've got the first tab, the second tab, which is our article, just scrolling down through there, and the third tab, which are our discussion questions. We want to make some additional changes, right? I don't want it to say first tab, second tab, third tab. And I also want to show you how super easy it is to customize those colors. Those are just three random colors that I chose. Now, if I go into edit in my tabbed page, but stay in the rich content editor, it looks super funky. So I've got a bulleted list here with my tab names. And then I have the video, the article, everything just dumped in there. What you're missing is that HTML code that's happening in the background, linking the tabs 
to the material on the page. Okay, so keep that in mind, but you can make edits. If you've got a typo here, you can change that typo. You can use the rich content editor. Just be really, really careful. Okay, um, I wanna change these tab names. Now I can change the tab names here, but honestly, it's easier to do it in the HTML editor and we're gonna do that. So I've got my tab name right here and it's called first tab. The reason it's easier is because it's linked. And if I were to retype that name, I might end up losing my hyperlink. So I want this to not be called first tab. I want it to be called um, video content. And I don't want it to be called a second tab. Instead, I want it to be called um, article. I don't want it to be called third tab. I want it to be called discussion questions, if I can spell that right. Discussion questions. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Um, I'm gonna go back here and then hit save. And now I've got video content, article, and discussion questions. And again, you can click through these. The reason I wanted to add these headings, even though they're in the tab, is so that the student knows you know which tab you're in. Video content says video. The article says article. Discussion questions say discussion questions. I want to show you one more super easy, fun thing to do with these tabs. Now, I just chose these colors for us, so if you copied my code in, you're gonna get these colors, but you might wanna customize it and it is super easy. So I am here in Vengage's Accessible Color Palette Generator. There are lots of these, completely free, just a really great way to go. I'm gonna start by choosing a color that I like and I can load more palettes for sure. Just kind of looking for a color that I wanna base everything off of. I really like this color. I'm also looking at my accessibility score, which is this number over here. I think it's something like 4.5 that you want that contrast to be. Let's copy this and I'm gonna put it up here in my palette generator. Let's do a control V and then hit generate. Okay, so here are a lot of different palettes that go along with this. Let's choose, um, I like the ones that are really close together. I'm gonna choose this one for my first tab color. I'm gonna click to copy that hex code. I think it's hex code. I'm gonna go over to my week three content with tabs. I'm gonna change this background color of my first tab. I wanna go to edit and then I want my HTML editor. Okay, here's how easy it is, you guys. You wanna put it right here. See where this says background color colon? This is what I wanna change. I'm gonna make sure I don't have too many hashtags. I've highlighted that and then let's do a control V. I do have two hashtags there. I can do um, this and let's actually do save. Um, the white actually looks really good on that, so I'm gonna leave that white. So let's do the next one. I'm gonna be ready and be in edit, and then in my HTML editor. Let's go back to my accessible color palette and choose this one next. So let's copy this. Back to canvas. This time I'm gonna highlight that second color for that second tab, and let's do a control V. So there's the second one. I'm gonna do the same thing with the third one, which is gonna be this lighter one. I'm gonna, again, click to copy that code and back to Canvas, and that's gonna be my third one. So let's copy that third one. Now, I also wanna be careful with my contrast, with my accessibility. Right now, see where it says color colon white? That means that all of the lettering is in white. My accessibility palette suggested white for that first color, but black for the other two. Super easy to change it. Back into Canvas, these second two should be black. So I'm just gonna highlight this and type black right over it. Let's go ahead and hit save so we can see what that looks like with our tabs. So I've got my video content. I might actually go back and change this one to be white. Um, my article, and then my discussion questions. The code that we use today is linked down in my description. It's completely free. Go ahead and take a look at that. I've got so many more things I wanna show you here in Canvas. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.